Hello everyone! I'm making a Wolfenstein 3D style FPS in Godot. Inspired by watching Paprika Twins with my 9 month old son, I wanted to make characters out of circles and very solid colours, so I started by drawing and animating this guy. Then I watched Mrs.'s tutorial how to make a Doom clone in Godot in 13 minutes. This got me set up with a first person camera and covered the animation system. X and Z movement, horizontal mouse look and raycast. Then, thanks to Mrs.'s how to make Doom style directional sprites in Godot, I got my character viewable from different angles like this. The tutorial covered how to compare two different directions using dot dot command. I deviated a bit from there and only made four directional sprites opposed to Mrs.'s eight. And I used actual Godot animations rather than the animation coordinates from the tutorial. So I have four walk animations, all ending with a single character representing which side is facing the player. So walk F for, for walk front, walk L for walk left. I have a method that converts the dot dot calculations to F, B, L, or R, and attaches that to whatever animation should be playing so we can see them all from the appropriate side. Finally, I followed Mrs. How to Make Wolfenstein 3D Style Levels in Godot tutorial, which taught me about mesh libraries and grid maps. If you didn't already know, basically the 3D equivalent of a tile map, and yeah, they are really freaking cool. Now, with these done, the game sure looked like an FPS, but I needed to make it expandable and customizable, so I refactored all the code into appropriate methods and made a character script for all bad guys to inherit from, and separated any shooting-related code from the player script to a gun script with its own scene. I also added health to the enemies and player, and added a take damage method, so an attack doesn't instantly call the kill method. I found a gunshot sound online and added that in. <laughs> I'm almost certainly going to replace it at some point, but for now it works. Shooting felt very unimpactful, so I added two particle effects, sparks for a miss and blood for a hit, and this instantly made the game feel way better. I added reloading to the guns. Now, I wanted enemies to attack, and I wanted them to use the same gun code as the player, but hit scan enemies suck, so I took all damage code out of the gun and created a new script called SHOT. The shot is attached to the gun and contains whether it's a raycast or a projectile based weapon. It determines the damage power of raycast, which is ignored for projectiles as they have their own damage value. I also made a scene and appropriate code for the projectiles with customizable move speed and damage. I tested projectiles out on the player gun and it felt pretty good to use, but I really want player guns to use hit scan unless it's a rocket or crossbow or, you know, something like that. I made a state machine for the enemy AI so they could be in idle, chase, attack, and dead states. I gave them an area collider that sits in front of them, so when the player enters the area they can see the player, which puts them in the chase state. This just makes them run towards the player. After that, I added an attack distance and added the gun to the bad guys. When in attack distance, they stop moving and start firing their gun. Enemies would run out of shots and just click away at an empty gun, so I added a flag to guns to have unlimited ammo, so no reloading is necessary when true. But then I decided I liked the idea of reloading enemies, so I also added a flag to auto-reload when empty. I use auto-reload on enemies, so after a few shots there's a break in the fire and you can hear them reload. I tested enemies with both projectile guns and hitscan, and they work, but definitely more fun with projectiles. I needed the player to notice he's taking damage, so I added this red flash to the screen and recorded some pain sounds, letting the game pick one at random every time the player takes damage. <laughs> One day, I didn't feel like doing anything particularly code-heavy, so I procrastinated by messing with the world environment settings to darken the area, add a skybox, and add some lights indoors. I also added a new texture for outside walls to look like a hedge. At some point, I really do need to go in and replace all these textures because they don't fit the art style for the characters and gun, but ah, they get the idea across for now. I then added an area collider to the gun scene that kept track of any character with a here shot method and alert them to the gunfire when in range. The bigger the area collider, the louder the gun. Finally, I replaced all the audio streams on AI guns with 3D positional audio streams so the player can tell where shots are coming from and added a very satisfying ricochet sound for missed gunshots, and here we are. Obviously I'm nowhere near done, but very happy with the progress I've reached in a couple of weeks. Extra special thanks to Mrs.Zizzizz for his excellent tutorials. If you enjoyed this devlog, please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!